Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. Today I am going to show how to create a simple workflow. Let's see. Log in to your personal instance. Before we start creating workflow, let me explain why we are creating the workflow and which workflow we are creating. Okay. Go to the maintain items. Go to the maintain items. Before we created uh, one catalog item called create user. Okay. So let's open this create user in portal view. Okay. Create user. You can set the catalog item from here also. Click on create user. Okay, so this is a catalog item. We created it. Okay, after submit. Okay, after submit, what it happens like? Uh, what it should do like to which group it needs to go? Like, uh, if I click give like a first name email phone number last name display name okay how it will create a user okay so what what is the backend process okay so to define the backend process okay for like for example after submit so how it goes okay what happens after submit okay so it it will define all steps will define in the workflow okay for example if once item is submitted, okay, then it will go for approval. Okay. If approval is approved, then it will go for task. In this task, this task is a fulfillment task where the team belongs to this task will work on this catalog item like uh, what are the request is coming from this catalog item so all these tasks will be performed by this group like fulfillment group okay once the task is completed then it will end the work okay what if approval is rejected if approval is rejected then it will end so this is a simple workflow this type of workflow we are going to build now okay let's see so once this item is submitted, okay, like create user is submitted, it should trigger a workflow. Okay, how it will trigger a workflow, how we are going to create a workflow, we will see now. Now go to the IT view. In the filter navigator, type workflow. Okay, type workflow. There is a workflow editor, okay, where you can uh create a new workflow or edit the existing workflow okay so you have all the existing workflows all these things okay like uh, uh, all the published workflows you have so now we are going to create a new workflow okay click on new workflow when you are creating a new workflow then it will ask like which table it is. Okay, what is the name of the workflow? Name of the workflow is like create user. We use same item name. Okay. Create user. And what is the table? So the table is requested item because once we submit, once we submit, a request item will create. Okay. So that request item we will select requested requested item. Okay, so select this requested item. Okay, this stage rendering stage order we will see in the next steps. Okay, what is stage rendering? What is stage order? How it looks? Everything we will see in the next steps. Okay, submit it. So this is called a drawing canvas. 
Okay. So once you create a new workflow, a begin and end activity will uh, activities will appear automatically. Okay. Once the workflow is triggered and from the that is called begin, and once it reaches to the last stage, then it is end. Okay. In middle, what we need to do. Okay. So now once the workflow is triggered, it needs to go to the approval process. Okay, it needs to go to approval process. Okay, so how we can bring the approval activity here? So in the right hand side, okay, on the core tab, you have approval. Okay, so approval group or approval user or approval, which type of approvals do we need? Okay, for now we will uh, create an approval user. Okay, later in the new, in the upcoming videos, we will use approval group, approval coordinator, how we use all these things we will define later. Okay. So drag and place in between these two lines. Okay, approval activity. Okay. So what is the name of this approval activity? What kind of workflow it is? Or something like um, uh, we define some user approval activity or something. User approval activity. What is the stage? Stage is nothing but a, um, we have different, different kinds of stages here. Okay, this is waiting for approval. During this time, the stage is set to waiting for approval. Okay, if there are any conditions to define to trigger this workflow, for now we will create a simple workflow. We are not going with complex workflow. Okay, so which what kind of user? So if you have user, you can add user. If you have group, you can add group. Or if not, you can define some script also. Like click on the advanced like uh, click on advanced you can get uh, you can write script also okay but now we will create a simple workflow we will not create any advanced or something like that we will select some user called a build tutor or something like that okay a build tutor so what happens wait for anyone to approve okay when anyone reject reject the approval Okay, so these are the default columns. Okay, and submit it. So approved and rejected. Okay, what happens when it is approved? What happens when it is rejected? When it is rejected, directly go to the end. Okay, when it is approved, it needs to go to a catalog task. Go to task, create a catalog task. Okay, and place in the between these two activities. Okay. Like fulfillment task. Fulfillment task. What will be the stage? Stage is like fulfillment. Okay, task table is okay. Or what is the priority? So we'll set all the task priorities is lower. Okay. And uh, we will use fields, templates, and values. So we'll use values. Okay. We will use like short description. Short description. Create a user. Okay. Description. Create a user. Okay. As given or something. We will define. Okay. To which group we need to assign. Okay. So let's see what all the groups are available. Okay. We'll see like um, snow group one. Okay. Snow group one. Okay, you can define if you have any time zones or schedules or duration, you can define. Okay, if you are not able to 
um, describe here like what is the short description okay uh, if you want to create some script like a task dot short description is equal to if you want to add some uh, some uh, customized script okay you can add it here okay we can see it later okay we will so to show the variables on the task okay you can select all the variables and place it okay it will show only the related uh, variables on the task okay and submit it so it will uh, so once the task is finished it will go to end okay and then validate okay before okay uh, we created the workflow simple workflow this is called a very simple workflow okay before uh, publishing this workflow we need to validate it okay all the transitions these are called these lines are called transitions are defined or if there are any transitions is uh, open okay we can validate the workflow so you can see all are uh, validated okay like info if you have any error or warning or anything you, it will define here okay once it is validated okay you can publish the work okay uh, so publish the workflow so once it is published then go to the catalog item okay how it will trigger uh, we don't know, right? Uh, how this workflow will trigger? Uh, like, for example, this item is submitted. How it will trigger? We did not define that one. Okay. So to define in the process engine, in the workflow, we need to select create user workflow. Okay. Create user workflow and save it. Now go to the portal and refresh it. Create user. Now submit it. Test, 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 test something. Yeah, test, 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 and submit it. Okay, so you can see create user and stage is waiting for approval. Okay, waiting for approval in progress. Okay, open this request. Okay, open this request in the IT view. Okay, so open this item. Under the request, you have item, requested item. Okay, so under this requested item, Okay, so you see all the variables like first name, last name, email, phone, display name. So all variables, okay, you can see, okay. What we submitted, we can see it, okay. It is like approval. It went to approval Abel tutor, okay. Let's impersonate with Abel tutor. Abel tutor. Impersonate a bit. So he will go to approval, right? He will go to my approvals or something. Okay. Okay. He don't have a uh, approval uh, road. Okay, so that's the reason he is not able to see his approvals. Okay, let's end the impersonation and assign him a role. Users, go to users. A build tutor, open the build tutor. Assign a role, okay. Assign a role called approval. 
approval user who will assign approval admin is a different role i will explain you in later steps okay now impersonate with a build tutor okay impersonate user a build tutor impersonate then go to my my approvals okay you can see the requested item is is in here okay so he will approve it a build tutor will approve okay now go back to as it okay open that requested item So you can see approval is approved and then a task is created okay to see the workflow where it is pending how it went so you can see the workflows from here show workflow click on show workflow now you can see our create user workflow is attached so begin blue means it is finished activities green means it is running activity okay so begin is finished approval is finished and the task is pending okay once the task is closed then it will go to end okay see uh open this task close complete okay click on close complete and assign to someone who is in this part of the group okay close the task now if you refresh this workflow you can see this is ended so that's it the item is ended okay this is a, a simple uh, workflow okay but we need to do a lot of changes here because if you see once this is completed okay once the workflow is completed state is still in open okay and stage is also in fulfilled and if you open the request request is also is in opened i mean approval but uh, it is not close complete okay all this needs to be set to close complete okay so how we will do it so again go back to them go back to the workflow editor workflow editor see request item is uh where is approval if still is in requested or something okay uh add approval also in the form layout on the requested item form add approval go and add it under watch list so it is in still in requested okay because it is already approved so we need to mark this approval to approved once the task is closed then the state is in it should be uh, closed complete okay so like that we need to do so open the create user workflow okay double click just double click it it will open so to edit the workflow uh, we need to uh, check out this one okay check out so after the approval once it is approved then we need to mark approval as approved okay go to the core section we have approval action here okay bring that approval action in between these two okay mark or approved this name is as approved and then stage to fulfillment okay or request approved okay mark task as approved and submit it 
Okay, the same thing we need to do it rejected also. Rejected. Approval rejected. Okay, so instead of dragging this one, you can do right click on the activity. Okay, right click on the activity and click on copy activity. Just okay, and then delete this transaction. Just mark this transaction here and drag this transaction to the end. Okay, open this approval action. Name as rejected. Okay, now, um. Or request approval or something, you can do it. Okay. Mark task as rejected. Okay. And update. So now it will go to the catalog task after the approved. Okay. Open this catalog task. So once the task is created, the stage is in fulfillment. Okay. Fulfillment. And then you need to close the RITM. After the task is complete, after the catalog task is completed, what we need to do? We need to go to set values. Okay, we need to do set values. Okay, service catalog, uh, not here. Utilities under utilities, you have set values. Drag this and drop in between the fulfillment task and end activity okay mark close complete okay so close complete what is the stage stage is like completed okay set values you are setting the ritm state value state to close complete Okay, and add you to false. Okay, and submit it. The same way we need to, when it is coming from rejected, we need to set same values, right? Copy this activity, drag here, remove this transaction, and then. Okay, now open this activity. This is what close incomplete. This is not completed. This is incomplete. We need to set as incomplete. Okay, closed incomplete. Okay, update. That's it. Okay, let's see how it works. Okay, publish this workflow. Now, refresh this catalog item and submit it again, like test, test one, test one, test one, test one, test one, okay, and submit it. So waiting for the approval, okay. So copy this uh, request, go to this form. RITM, open the RITM. Okay, so now you see approval is requesting stage in waiting for approval, state is in open. Okay, so now I will not go to a uh, approval tutor, I will just approve on behalf of him. Okay, double click and approve. Okay, now you see all these are set. Okay. See, approval is approved and state is in open. State is fulfillment and the task is opened. Okay. Now I will close this task. Okay. Open this task and close the task. Close complete. Okay. Now you see the state is close complete. Stage is completed. And if you open the request, request state is also close complete. Okay, so that is how you need to create a workflow and assign the values 
like close complete all these stages so everything is matter because if end user sees like what is his activity so for example if i refresh this one now it will see completed okay if i end users want to see like what is the request okay it is completed okay if you click on this create item from the portal he will see all this uh request item created what is additional details okay what is the stage state you can see close complete number everything you can see okay so this is a simple workflow to create it okay that's it please do subscribe to get alerts for upcoming videos hope you will enjoy and learn service now thank you very much for your time